short lesson I'm going to be looking at this idea of the root mean squared of the current and the voltage this one over here and then state the relationship between the peak and the RMS values and then how we can relate this to solving problems uh, in circuits and so forth so these these points over here actually I won't be doing this one over here I'll do that in the next one so I'm I'm going to go back to our data booklet actually, and just uh, remind us of a few things, and then look at some of these some of these formulas that we're going to discuss. Um, we've discussed these over here. We derive this formula, and this is Faraday's law. Faraday's law. This has got to do with a transformer, which. I'm going to be looking at next. Uh, now these are the formulas that we are going to be discussing now. As you can say we as you can see we've got this thing called RMS. That is that RMS is the root mean squared. It's it's a way of finding an average. And then we've got this I0, basically uh, the I0 and the V0, the V0 are these are both the maximum uh, current uh, and voltage that is achieved. We also get obviously the VRMS, which is the same thing, the root mean squared for the the voltage. Now, why do we need these terms? Um, we will discuss them now. We're also going to look at this idea of power because we know that power is equal to V times I, your voltage times your current. When you have the these I R M S root mean squared, how does that affect the power? We will discuss that also. So to continue, we're going to call up a PowerPoint. It's the third PowerPoint, and uh, we're going to discuss uh, some points with this. Now. Because we have got alternating current, what happens is that the current actually increases and and <coughs> and, and uh, correspondingly the voltage also increases and decreases like this. It sometimes it's at a highest value. Now this value over here, uh, if we t if we talk about our voltage would be our V0 value. That is our maximum value. This RMS value over here is the average value. It's it's like the average amount that the voltage is over a period of time. Because as we can see, it it starts from zero. It goes, it goes up, it goes up. It decreases. So it's not a steady amount of voltage, but there is an average value, and this is the RMS value. Now. If I go down to this to this um, uh, diagram over here, this is a combination of both your current and and your voltage. We find what's important is that the the current and the voltage are actually in phase. Um, as the one increases, as the EMF increases, the voltage increases. We know that these these two things are are directly proportional. Um, and so uh, the two things they both increase, and then therefore, as as the power increases and the voltage, uh, the, as the voltage and the current increases, the power, because it's equal to V I, will also increase. Now, basically, what happens with this is if I if I um, look at this in more detail, um, we have that so let me pull this down a little bit we have that the power this power over here if we if we took the the total power here it would equal that amount that's the that's the highest power or the maximum power uh, and it it would course go from a total of that to a or a maximum of this to a minimum of 
this. So the power fluctuates from the power will fluctuate from zero watts to a maximum number of watts. Going back to our data booklet, we we have that the IRMS or the root mean squared is actually given by your maximum divided by the square root of two. So uh, this is the average amount so you divide it by the the maximum amount divided by the square root of two. So when we look at power, if we had a look at your maximum power, that would equal I zero V zero. That would be the maximum amount. Your power, your root mean squared, or your average power, would equal your I RMS times your VRMS, so that would equal um, I0 over the square root of 2 times V0 over the square root of 2, and that equals I0 V0 over 2, and that's your power RMS. So your root mean squared, or your average power, your average power power it equals this over here now this over here is your maximum power so it equals basically your average power equals your maximum power divided by 2 so we have these formulas over here this is where these formulas over here come from um, and we have discussed these now just finally our Ohm's law formula or our ratio between our voltage and our and our current is equal to the resistance now because here these are both divided the VRMS we're going to get um, VRMS is, is both divided by the square root of 2 those square root of 2 values those, those both will cancel out and so we just left with our regular value for R we can use both our maximum values for I and 0 or our RMS values and we can work out the resistance at any point. Thank you.